Nil, are you around? Nil? I need your help, Nil. I guess we could check the lake. I have a question for you, Lark. Oh, you are here. What did you want to ask? What if I'm a god? Do you feel like a god? Yes, I think that I do. Well, I don't think you're a god, but I've never met one, so who am I to say? You can be my prophet and help me spread my sacred designs. Sacred designs? I want to change everyone's shape. Everyone's shape is very wrong. Even yours, Lark. Your shape is wrong, Lark. I don't think I can be your prophet, Nil. Why have you summoned me, apostate? There's been another death, but I can't find the body. You're very good at finding bodies. Accept death into your heart, and then life is a sin. I guess we'll meet on the surface. Hey, welcome to the Ghost Zone. Hello again, Loom. I see you've met Nil. Yeah, I did. Profane shape filth, all of you. They're really bad. Can you find her body, Nil? No, it's gone. Why is it gone? Why is my body gone? You were consumed. Every bone, every fibrous tissue torn away and eaten. Bummer. You can throw up if you need to. I throw up all the time. Important question. If I don't find my body, am I going to turn into whatever Nil is? Maybe we'll turn into each other. Nil's been around since well before I started seeing ghosts. I don't know how they turned out that way. I'm ancient and mysterious. I believe you can cross over as soon as you feel like you're ready. The only reason most stick around is to find out how they died. Mm, I was eaten. I really don't want to know more, so I guess I'll just go. Any final requests? If anyone asks, tell them I turned into a tree when I died or something uplifting like that. Sure. Well, goodbye, Loom. I lived an average life and have many regrets. Whatever world, goodbye forever. A tree would also be the wrong shape. Pecan, let's head to where Chalice hangs out. <laughs> I know, but snakes are a good place to start when someone's been eaten. I'm going to go throw up in a cloud. Lark, Pecan, welcome to my alfresco palace. Uh, put me down, Pecan. <laughs> yes, slither before me. Do the tongue thing. Wonderful! You look like an absolute buffoon! How are you, Chalice? Oh, you know, very wealthy. Just absolutely drowning in gold and precious jewels and such. Your treasures are as magnificent as they are plentiful. Bonk, bonk. Yes, they are. Tell me, what brings you to my open-air palace? Have you heard of any snakes acting inappropriately? You mean like... Like poo-poo stuff? Uh, I'm thinking more along the lines of killing and eating Loom, the rabbit. Oh, oh, no, I haven't heard of any snakes doing that. Or poo-poo stuff. Ah. Then again, most snakes aren't talking to me anymore on account of my obscene snake wealth. Look at the coins, Lark. Hundreds of coins and jewels. You know how many poo-poos you can get for a jewel? Not as many as you'd think, Lark. Well, I appreciate the help, Chalice. I think we'll be on our way. You'd expect people would give it away, the poo-poos. But life isn't that simple. It's never that simple, Lark. Nope, it never is. <laughs> Perhaps we'll have more luck with the wolves. Oh, hello. You're Winter, right? Streak, good to see you again. Circles, it's been a long time. Pecan, I think this might be like what happened a few months ago with the rats. Thank you, Pecan. I believe Pocket lives nearby. Find him if you can. I'm sorry, friends. I wish there was something I could do for you. People you know and care about are trying to kill you. Have you noticed? I've never seen so many of them changed at one time. It's gonna be difficult getting them all out of the park. Oh, this rabbit thing is going to turn out totally fine, for you at least. I'm glad you think so. But things are getting worse, Lark, and soon it's going to spiral out of your control and consume everyone. We'll see, Nil. Death is hungry and fast approaching. None of you will survive what must come, I love you. Goodness. Hey, Lark! Pocket, I'm very glad Pecan was able to find you. Yeah, you know, I was just kind of in the area doing bear stuff. I grabbed the rabbits and put them into my giant pocket, by the way. Great work, Pocket. Thanks, I'm pretty good at putting stuff in pockets. Just toss them over the line and they'll be exiled. They won't just, like, run back? They won't. I don't know why, but they won't. All right. Get out of here, rabbits! Get, get out of here! May you all find peace. You too, Loom, wherever your soul has gone. Oh, no! a bear, right? Loom was a rabbit. Oh, oh, I was thinking of Broom! The bear who has that broom! Hey, can I go get my pocket back? Sure, but be quick. It is super dangerous over the line. Oh, jeez, my pocket! My name is Leaf now.